Yeah, it's just something I just said to the boys said. <coughs> nice to win a uh, it's not a close one, but it's an ugly one. I think uh, either team that lost today would have been disappointed because you know, it was pretty uh, pretty ugly game. The uh, few errors and tough conditions. That with that wind and uh, playing at playing at Penrith Park is always tough, but it was really important two points when you come away to come away from here. Not many times I've uh, come away from here with two points. Josh Watson was um, outstanding today, wasn't he? He's probably fitting when he went off the creep up to take any set of the same control. <coughs> um, Josh, there he is. He's been, he's, I spoke to you during the week about him. His uh, transition from the UK across the league uh, uh, very strong for his first year. I guess, like I said earlier, really um, two points to lead your two points to the eight now. And, um, obviously, you're those well, it's, easy, it's easy to say now after a win, but again, I'll repeat myself. We're, we're really we're not not a team yet that we can be worrying about the eight or where we're going. It's a matter of just worrying about next week. We made that pack a month ago. Um, whatever happens now through to the end of the season is just going to be great for the future for this squad. And whether that's we make the eight or whether we don't, but we don't look at it. We just look at we just look at the next game. We, uh, we're not good enough to be worrying about where we're going to be in three, four, five weeks' time. We've just got to worry about our preparation leading to the next one. Thoughts on uh, Macca's game today? Um, Defensively, was pretty good. Missed a bit of E2 in the time. Yeah, we'll go back and review it all and have a look. But uh, you know, he made some, uh, as a lot of the boys did, some desperation in defence, which was needed. Do you think the potential's there, Ricky? Like you still got. Do you think the potential's there, mate? You, you sort of mentioned you're not. Not looking at the top eight or not a top eight team, but you know there's still a few rounds to go before you get there. Yeah, and it was important that we did make that decision four or five weeks ago, not to worry about where we're going to be uh, ending up. And, you know, we're a very, very young team, um, and I, I like saying it now after a win because it's a, a lot of people see it as me making excuses if we lost. We're a very young team, and whatever happens for the back end of this season for us is just great for the future. It's all experience and it's education. I keep using the word education because we've got a very young squad. Um, so uh, I, I think we've got a pretty bright uh, future in the, near, in the near future coming through over the next two or three years if we keep uh, committed and, uh, and, and probably keep the attitude they have towards their work at, uh, outside the game. Jared, it was a weird game early, wasn't it? Like the first 26 minutes, try for tries, like, and then suddenly the scoring stopped. What, what, are, your, what are your thoughts? Yeah, it wasn't it, mate. It was, um, I spoke out there on the field to radio after the game, and um, yeah, it was, you know, it was probably both sides. They're both sides were pretty desperate out there today, both in the same position points, and, uh, you know, there's a couple of tries off kicks, a couple of, you know, back up the middle, a bit of that bit for so uh, both sides were, you know, uh, you know playing a bit like that in the first sort of 20, 30 minutes, but, Game settled down, just sort of uh, you know, keep going on and, and keep chase on it. But you know, we'll, we'll win from there. Chris, the last score, I think three tries in the last tackle. <coughs> the one side, the short pass to close to the ones. That's what some of the boys picked up. We just see how involved we're involved there. And then we go. Oh, I think that's just that's the boys out there, mate. They, um, they saw an opportunity to do it. They both saw it. Look, Osto and then BJ and then Rapper, that's the sort of players they are. They see opportunity and they take it. And they're the boys that they. What do you think of the first two uh, penalty tries, uh, especially the second one? That was all that knock on off the ball. Yeah, knock on last week. <laughs> when you said, when you talk about like this team building, where do you, do you see that as next year sort of being a finished product, or is it two years? Where do you sort of put myself out there on the, the uh, magnets and uh, observations? You know. <clears throat> um, when you look at a group, like the core of our group is probably around 22, 23 year old, and and if I say it's three or four years, I'm just trying to grind myself time, which I'm not doing, so I, I, I don't make those statements for that. But when you look at teams that have been successful over the years, they have um, a good group of representative players. They have. Um, main core of their groups around 20, 25, 26 year old 
my core that groups around 70 to 100 games experience. That's why I, I can genuinely say with um, uh, quite strongly that I think if we can keep together over the, uh, the next two, three years, we'll, we'll have a very competitive footy team. And I said the day I got here that I wanted to get respect back for this club. And I think we're slowly doing that. Um, you know, you're not going to come out and say what you're going to win or how you're going to do things, but I know we're going to be <coughs> with the way they train and prepare. Um, I, I think we'll be a competitive team for the you know, for, for the near future for a while. Greg, so I guess uh, one of the toughest challenges of the game um, this week, Campbell was in Townsville, just with the confidence this guy's needed before. Yeah, look, we, uh, we'll, we'll take the two points from here. As Stig said, it's, it's, it's a tough place to play, and it's one of the year. Um, and they might come down here, and the base side's been desperate. Uh, and we'll just take the two points from today, and then focus straight on the Cowboys. Uh, we all know that they're going, they're going really well up top there, so uh, we'll ice our bruises and get up there.